Many kinds of injuries to the hand or arm will require the use of a sling. Take out your triangular bandage. Drape one long point over the shoulder opposite to the injured arm. Position the bandage so that the short point hangs behind the elbow with the injured arm in front. Cross the other long point over the other shoulder and tie the two behind the neck. The arm is supported evenly from hand to elbow. Tuck in the tail end and leave the fingers exposed. In the case of a broken collarbone, easy to recognize because the arm will hang much too low, a sling gives support and relief from pain. Fold the bandage into a strip. Form two loops in the middle. Place one behind the other. Slide them both over the wrist. Take the loose ends and tie them behind the neck, again using a reef or square knot. Place a pad under the knot to prevent chafing. In this way, the shoulder is relieved of much of the arm's weight. The patient will be much better able to walk to get medical attention. This sling will not slip from the wrist. But you may not have the all-important triangular bandage. Something will have to be improvised. Take your belt, strap the buckle on the patient's wrist, loop the belt around the neck and tie it. The arm's weight is nicely taken by the belt. Take care not to stop circulation of the blood to the hand. If the belt is a narrow one, put a pad around the wrist first. Suppose your patient is unconscious. You can't ask him what's wrong. Feel his pulse. See that his chest is rising and falling. Clear his mouth and apply mouth-to-mouth -mouth respiration. Time is of the essence, as in all first aid. Do first things first. Once you know he is breathing, check for bleeding. Don't move him until he has been given a thorough examination. Examine the body for possible fractures. When consciousness returns, ask him to cough to check for chest injury. Ask him to try moving different parts of the body to help you find where the damage is. Check for damage to the skull.
In any event, cover him up and keep him warm. If his leg is broken, the first step of treatment is to straighten the leg and restore it to a natural position. This is done by a gentle pull. The next step is to immobilize the broken leg by tying it to the other leg. No splints are necessary. Use a belt and push it under with a stick to avoid moving the leg. Put a padding between the legs to hold them firm. Tie them together with one belt above the brake and one below. The treatment for a bone break is very simple. Restore, immobilize, and bandage above and below. A bad sprain is difficult to distinguish from a broken joint, so treat it as a broken joint. The best support for an ankle is the woodsman's boot. Do not remove it. If the swelling is severe, slacken off the laces. Then, for extra rigidity, use a belt looped around the ankle, crossed in front and secured around the foot in the shape of a figure eight. This will ease both the effort and pain involved in walking. But whatever happens, keep a cool head and don't attempt too much. Remember, do first things first.